Now, in discussing this verse and the laws of menstruation, a woman who is in that state and who does not pray and other laws apply to her, we call her ha'il. You will find this a very common word in legal rulings and in the narrations of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them. Now when it comes to ha'il, what is the age that a woman goes through this state where she does not pray and these laws apply to her? When we look at the hadiths of Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, we see our scholars have dealt with them differently. The minimum age for Hayd is nine. So any blood that a woman sees after the age of nine, it could be considered Hayd if it meets certain conditions. Anything before nine is not considered Hayd. Even let's say if uh, you know, a girl has a medical issue where she's be seeing blood before the age of nine, that is not considered Hayd and she is not considered Hayd. So the laws of Hayd do not apply to her. Even if she's not a mukallafa, meaning she's not obligated yet. However, let's say she wants to go to a masjid and she's bleeding before the age of nine. That's fine. Her parents can take her to a masjid. Why? Because she's not ha'il. Of course, a, a girl before the age of nine does not have to pray. So prayer is not an issue. But some of these other laws could be an issue. So before the age of nine, there is no ha'il and she's not ha'il. Now when we say the age of nine, which calendar are we going by? The lunar calendar, not the solar calendar. So that means three, four months before her solar birthday, she becomes nine and she becomes a mukallafa, obligated. Many people don't know this. A lot of girls, you know, when they have those ceremonies for them, in which they become obligated and they want to pray and they're now observing the hijab, they do it on the ninth birthday in the solar calendar. That's very common in our society. But in reality, she became mukallafa months before that. Because there's a difference of 11 days between the lunar year and the solar year. So, eight, nine, nine years times 11, that's what? 99 days, that's three months and about 10 days difference. So if a woman, if a girl started praying at age nine in the solar calendar, if that's when you started praying, you have three months that you have to make up if you did not pray during those 99 days. Now many people, many families are not aware of this. So whenever we talk about these ages with these laws, we're always referring to the lunar year, not the solar year. So the minimum age is nine. There is no disagreement among scholars. We have a lot of disagreement when it comes to the maximum age. What is the maximum age of menstruation? Or we call it the religious menopause. After which a woman does not consider herself to be ha'il. Even if she sees blood, it's no longer ha'il. She can pray, she can you know, go to a masjid, she can read those verses in the Holy Quran which a ha'il cannot recite. What is that maximum age? Scholars have a number of views. Even our maraja' today, they break into several groups. Some maraja' like Sayyid al-Sistani, he says the maximum age is 60. And remember, when we say 60, what calendar? Lunar. So if you're 60 years old in the lunar calendar, how old are you in our normal Gregorian calendar? Less. 58. Because remember, every year there's a difference of 11 days. Every year. So 60 years times 11. How much is that? 660. 660? Well how long, is it, is it 660? Let's assume it's 660, right? How long is that? That's over a year, that's almost two years, right? So when she becomes 58 really, 
you would have to do the exact calculation. But when she becomes 58, then she reaches that upper age, that maximum age. When she becomes 58 or 60 in the lunar calendar, we call her Ya'is. So Ya'is is the opposite of Ha'iv. It means she's reached religious menopause. Where even if she's seeing blood, usually that's not the case, but even if she's seeing blood, that is not considered Ha'iv. She still prays.